everybody. This is going to be a review on the Shang Shao 6x6. I've had this cube for a while now, at about three months, and I bought this from iCube Mart. The link will be in the description. So let's get started. Let's start with a size comparison. This is to a standard 57 millimeters inchy. And you can see that it is about a row bigger than the cube. Okay, so let's get on to turning of the cube. This cube is smooth on all layers. But it isn't like smooth like the Shangshao 5x5 or the Shangshao 7x7 if you have either of those. You can kind of feel that there's internal pieces that are turning with it when you turn the cube. I don't know if that really makes sense. But it kind of just has like a heavier feel to the turning. Maybe a little bit crispier, but it is still really smooth. And the turns nice and it, they flow together pretty good. So, corner cutting of this cube is pretty good. It's nothing spectacular. It, let's try line to line. Nope, it locks up. So let's try a little less and it cuts. Cuts. Let's try line to line again actually. Alright, so no, it can't go line to line but it can go just under. And same with second layer cuts, probably just under line to line. And with middle cuts, probably about half a piece is what you're looking at. So corner cutting on this cube is nothing really special, but you don't need that much corner cutting on a big cube like this. The sticker quality of this cube, it was nothing special at all. It was just the standard shades like yellow, orange, green, blue, red, and white. Those are just some extra stickers that I have. So they chipped a lot and but they were placed pretty good so I decided to place them replace them with Cubesmith half bright plus bright blue and it really looks nice so let's get on to pieces of this cube I'll take it apart a little bit so one thing I want to point out real quick about the pieces is normally when you're disassembling like let's say a V cube 6 you would or any other cube you could really just pull out this corner and then just twist it and disassemble but this corner, I don't know if you can see, it is attached into these big edges, internal edges. So it's almost like attached to the core right now. Okay, so this is the inner center. It sits right there. And you can see that this is where the other pieces would sit. It has a wing right here. And it has this typical Shangshao nub like you'd see on most of the cubes like the 4x4 and the 7x7. And here are these other like oblique edge pieces that would sit right here. And you can see that it has this little flare on the end. Now these also have a mirror piece to it. So basically this just is on the other side. And then this ridge is on the other side. And this is the outer corner center piece. You can see that it kind of looks like the Shangsha 7x7 and 5x5. Okay, now I have the cube assembled again, and let's get on with the review. Pops and lockups of this cube, they are bad. If you try and corner cut too much, they'll either pop or you'll get one of those nasty Changsha type lockups where it gets all messed up in the front and the back and you kind of just have to push back to place. And usually what pops are these two pieces. It can either be this one, this one, or both at the same time. And sometimes an internal piece will come out with it, and it's really hard to put back together, and it gets really annoying. You can solve this by tightening the cube, or maybe doing the Florian mod to this. But if you're just looking for something, like you can see, pieces will pop out. But the pops and lockups kind of bring this cube down. I wouldn't really say that the 6x6 is amazing. But if you're looking at it compared to like a stock V cube six, this is definitely better. And I would say that's probably the best six by six on the market because there's only really two or three and they're all terrible. But I'd say that this one is good. So overall, I would recommend this cube if you're looking for a good six by six without having time to uh, having time to like super mod it. 
it is pretty good. It turns smooth, but it does pop and lock up a little bit. The performance is great other than the pops and lockups, and I think it really brings this cube down. If they were to make like a version two of this cube that didn't pop, it would be amazing. But that's it for this review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.